Well, hi Billy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the vlog. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different vlog. I'm going to do a little how-to. Um, our dogs use electric collars that when placed next to uh, the sensor on this electronic dog door, it opens up and lets them outside. The little collars that come with the sensor, or I guess it's the transmitter, uh, are not very good. Uh, they're cheap and they're hard to get on and off the dogs. And so I'm going to attach them to their regular collar and that way we can take the collars on and off easily uh, for when we bathe them or when Willie goes to daycare. They actually take uh, all the collars and things off the dogs there at daycare. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that I am using. Of course, the dog collar that I'm going to attach the transmitter to. And then I also have the transmitter and the back of the transmitter that I had in my pocket. I uh, need some wire snips to cut and trim the cable ties that I'm going to use to attach it. And then my hope is, is to use this straight pick to create a hole in the collar that I can run the cable tie through to attach the transmitter to the collar. Hopefully that's gonna work. One of the concerns that I have is the transmitter is not very heavy. Uh, and the, the collar, the metal clasp for a leash, and then also the plastic clasp are, he are the heaviest parts. They tend to come down around to the front of the neck if the collar isn't really tight on the dog. So I'm honestly tempted to try to attach the transmitter somewhere near these, um, which would just mean that if you're attaching uh, a leash, to the metal hook, then you would, you're probably gonna slide this around, which you, you kind of do have to do that anyway. The other limitation here is there's not a great place to, to attach it due to this is in the way, this adjustment, and then over here, I want to say this moves as the as Willie's grows, this is gonna move on here, which will adjust where. I attach it, but I think this is my best bet. I think this is where I'm gonna try it. So I'm just gonna pick in the middle of this. Oh, this is adjustable. So I want to attach about right here. So just going through the collar with the pick. The hole doesn't really stay there when I when I pull the pick out for very long. I want this connector to be on the underside, so I'm gonna bring this through this direction. So this is the part where the collar would go through, the collar that came with it. So I'm gonna slip the cable tie through there. So now uh, I'm just, I have a second hole and I'm going to feed the cable tie through here. So you can see I've got the bottom plate attached and now I just need to tighten the zip tie and then just gonna snip the extra off of here. So now I have it attached. 
to the collar. This is the final product. Again, it is High Tech Pet, and this is the MS-5. It's got a little test button on it. You can see if it's working correctly. This here is the transmitter, I'll say, that has to sync up with the receiver on the door. I've made a couple adjustments, so the dogs fight all the time. And so you can see what I did was I just put two cable ties attaching it to the collar and then a third one that I'm just wrapping around the uh, transmitter, making sure I don't cover this part. And it's been working great. This is the dog door, high tech pet. I guess power pet is the model. Fully automated pet door. So you can turn it on and off. Um, you can open it manually if you need to and then it just closes on a timer you can set how long that timer is you can also turn the inside or the outside sensor off which say that you want your dog to stay outside once they go outside so you can turn the outdoor sensor off so once they leave the house they're stuck outside till you get home and then the knobs here on the right uh, that is how powerful the sensor is. So you may want it uh, higher or lower on the inside or outside. And I specifically noticed that as the battery gets older, you have to turn those up. Okay, just let me put your collar on. Good boy. There you go. You're all set. Good boy, Willie. Good boy, Sonny. Remember, be the light and go out into your world and make a difference. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yay! Matlock Films! Me, 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 me,